Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. You guys seem to be really enjoying this. What are they doing in 2022 series? We've gone through Ibanez, ESP's Phase 1, PRS, videos to that playlist in the cards. Now it's time to take a look at Dean. What is Dean doing in 2022? This is a bit of a juicy one. Let's take a closer look. All right, I'm on the Dean website, new 2022 products. That artwork is peak Dean guitars. It's actually pretty sick, to be fair. They should make that like a shirt or something. All right, let's start with the obligatory modern super strat. What is this? The Exile Select Floyd Neck Through Arch Top SBB. Dean is taking the Exile a step further. I hate to be that guy, but why is further capitalized? <laughs> the Exile is a beast in playability and sonic flexibility that offers a high access neck through heel joint. All right, sweet. So it's neck through. It's got fluences. Oh, that's fucking sick. Wait a second. Okay, is that a modern the bridge and a classic in the neck? I haven't tried it out yet, but apparently the modern bridge and the classic neck are a really good combo. People have been doing this on their own guitars. This is the first production model that I can think of that mixes and matches fluences. And here I was being an idiot, being like, oh, it's another modern super strat. And I mean, it kind of is, but Dean is putting their own little spin on it. What else? Glow in the dark side dots, Floyd Rose 1000, stainless steel frets too. Wait a second. Neck through, stainless steel frets, lumen lays, fluences. Dean has come out of nowhere with this. Most other people are going with hardtail or two-point trim. Dean is sticking with the Floyd. That's a really nice quilt top too. And I like the uh, reverse strat jack on the side of the body. Yeah, this is actually a much more interesting guitar than I thought it was. Starting off strong. Speaking of strong though, the sponsor of today's video, Ridge Wallet. Nah, you lost the original footage for the sponsor segment and had to refilm it, and I don't know what you're talking about. But let's take a quick second and thank Ridge for sponsoring today's video. I will use this ad money to buy Pampers because good lord babies poop a lot. It's disgustingly impressive. Or impressively disgusting. Both ways work. Anyways, so if you're new to the channel, you might not have heard that Ridge is redefining the wallet. And honestly, it makes every other wallet seem like an outdated relic. Let's face it, traditional wallets get bulky. Old hotel room keys, old receipts, empty gift cards. It's impractical, it's unnecessary, and it kind of just sucks. Meanwhile, Ridge is the ultimate minimalist wallet. The design is slim, it fits into your front pocket, it's RFID blocking, they're made of aluminum, titanium, or carbon fiber plates bound together with a durable elastic band. I've been a Ridge wallet user myself for years now, and it's still been strangely freeing to carry around and easily access only what I need. They're great, they've got a ton of designs, and each wallet is backed with a lifetime guarantee. So if you want to see why so many people are switching over to the Ridge wallet, head on over to ridge.com slash agafish, and if you use the code agafish, you get 10 off your order and free shipping. Huge thanks to them for their ongoing support. Check out cool minimalist wallets and clicking the link helps support the channel by letting them know that I sent you. And while you're doing that, let's see what else Dean Guitars has in store. All right, another Exile. What is this? Fluence Natural. Another Fluence Loaded Exile. Okay. Exile from Dean. Gave it a little boost with Fish and Fluence. Modern pickups and a new burled maple gloss finish and an older body. Are these moderns? I will have to double check that. Uh, either these are placeholder images of like a prototype that didn't have the moderns, or this is incorrect because only the classics come in open core variants. Unless this is an exclusive open core modern variant just for Dean. My guess though is that these are classics, not moderns, which are also very good for metal. The Jackson DK moderns, for example, have the classics in there and they do metal just fine. <laughs> What else? Instead of neck through, this one's bolt-on, but other than that, I mean, it's got the stainless steel frets and everything. These ones are much more by the book, so compared to the mismatched neck through version. And lastly, what is this one? Much more stripped down. Does this also have stainless steel frets? Nope, completely missed that this is a $400 guitar. Uh, <laughs> made in India. I forgot that Dean's more affordable models were made in India and not China. Classic Dean just out here being a combo breaker. Has anyone played an import guitar from India? I've not tried one yet. I'm really curious how it stacks up compared to 
Indonesia and China. Alright, those are the super strats. Now it's time to get into the Dean Deans. Oh, <laughs> fucking yes, dude. Alright, what is this? Dean Custom Run number 16. The long-awaited Dean Custom Run is back. It's Dean Custom Run number 16, our 16th offering of the Dean Custom Run series of guitars. Limited to 100 pieces worldwide and included. Alright, so what do we got? Swamp Ash body, 3-piece mahogany neck, 24 jumbo stainless steel frets, Evertune bridge, Fishman, Fluence, Modern pickups in black chrome. Yeah, no, these are classic. So they're just getting classic and modern mixed up. Stunning sandblasted gray finish to help tie it all together is the ultimate ML. I agree. Limited to 100 pieces worldwide. Yeah, so these are definitely <laughs> sold out then. Yep, gone. But here's what I mean, man. So this shape is clearly, you know, 100% Dean. Yo, nobody's looking at the ML and being like, oh, what Gibson is that? Yo, is that a Fender? Nah, bro, this is a f***ing Dean, <laughs> right? And that's why it's so cool that the first Dean with the current go-to top-of-the-line metal specs is an ML. The first Dean with the Holy Trinity spec combo of stainless steel frets, Evertune, Fishman Fluence, it's a f***ing ML. I love it. It's spec for the modern metal player and it's still unapologetically Dean. I, I really hope they make this or something like it into a regular production model and not just a custom run. Hey, I don't know, man. I, I guess I'm pretty sentimental. I like when guitar companies or any companies do modern stuff while still embracing their identity. Very, very cool. Caddy next. <laughs> yeah. And then this is just classic Dean. ML, big ass headstock. Seymour Duncan pickups, Kaler Tram. For real though, no one shows the Kaler as much love as Dean. The Dean ML Select K is an homage to the days when guitar, and why is it random capitalization? Guitar driven music evolved to its highest form with technical excellence a prerequisite for success and your gear a reflection of your style and influences. There's a lot of backhanded compliments in there. I would guess that whoever wrote this copy is not huge into Nicki Minaj. Alright, what else do we have here? Oh, we're on to the Dean Charvels. How many headstock shapes and logos does Dean have? Don't you just love pastel colored guitars though? Like, you can't play this and be in a bad mood. So, Roasted Maple Neck, Floyd Rose 1000, uh, APH1, and TB5 pickups. I'm pretty sure these are the same specs as the ones that were available last year, except that these pickups are direct mounted and now obviously we've got the feel good colors and then roasted maple shell pink. It's kind of like the Machine Gun Kelly guitar, but you know, with a roasted maple neck and uh, without a douchebag attached. <laughs> You know, right now Charvel is kind of ignoring the Tele or the SoCal 2, I think is what they call it. They don't have them in pastel colors with the roasted maple necks. Do you realize what Dean has done here? They've out Charvel'd Charvel in this very particular category. I actually really, really like this. I might have to hit up Dean. And importantly, it's one that Gibson can't sue them over. Wow, that is a bright guitar. It's like the color of the sun in every kindergarten crayon drawing. Yeah, I mean, it's a shame these don't have stainless steel frets. Grover tuners on these, and you notice the serial number is IW, and that's actually World Music's Indonesian facility. Oh, a single cut, let's go. This is pretty cool, actually, so... It's very classic single cut specs. You know, the pickups are Seymour Duncan, JB, El Nico 2 set. So not super high output. Then they've got a nice neck cutaway. The neck is satin while the rest of the body is gloss. And then just for fun, they've chucked a Floyd on there. So it's not like a super metal guitar, but it's got modern upgrades and a Floyd, which is a very rare combo. You know, I've talked a lot about how it's frustrating that it's pretty rare to find a guitar that isn't specifically built from metal that has modern quality of life upgrades. So something like this is quite a rare breed. I would not mind giving one of these go. All right, what's up next? Ah, Gibson lawyers look away. Oh shit, did they actually take it down? Well, I was able to find it by Googling, so I don't know what's up with the website. The classic series wouldn't be complete without the aggressive V. Since 1977, the V has been a staple 
to Dean Guitars, and this model is true to its roots at an affordable price, really hammering that legacy point in. Loaded with DMT series time capsule pickups to bring back the nostalgia of the original. I don't know that much about Dean's history. I wonder if this is actually one of the colors that they offered in their 1979 catalog. It's a nice deep red, in fairness. And the last one, a Z Select Fluence Black Satin. It's along the same veins as LTD's Black Metal series. Mahogany body, ebony fingerboard set through construction. I like the chrome binding and the chrome logo. I wonder if the inlays are chrome too. I don't know what else is in the series. I know there's at least a thoroughbred in there because I've looked at that a couple times. Obviously, you know what channel this is. I love the chrome logo. I'm still waiting for them to add stainless steel frets though to bring it up to uh, like LTD's Black Metal series. The Z does look better than LTD's EX shape though. But I don't like pointy guitars anyway, so that's none of my business. So let's try and put this lineup in context. And I'll preface this by saying I've not tried many Dean guitars. I really liked the Caddy I tried, surprisingly. It's such a wacky shape. Was not expecting it to enjoy it as much as I did. And personally, I've only had positive experiences with the people over at Dean, but they do have an undeniable tendency to attract drama. I've referred to Dean before as the live fast, eat ass brand of the guitar world. There just doesn't seem to be a dull day at Dean Guitars. You know, first they're getting sued by Gibson over shapes Dean has been using for decades. Gibson is claiming that the Dean V and the Dean Z were counterfeits of the Flying V and Explorer. Gibson claimed they caused customer confusion, which is horseshit. Dean countersued. Gibson just lost a similar case in the EU, by the way, finally, against Framus. Warwick. Hamburg Regional Court had originally decided in favor of Gibson in 2019 before being overturned by the Higher Court in 2020 and then finally dismissed by the Federal Supreme Court in 2021. So we'll see what effect that has on the Gibson Dean case, which is yet to go to court. But at that point, getting sued, public opinion was firmly on Dean's side. Last year though, we had Dean's litigation counsel issuing copyright takedowns on Instagram to a random dude posting his guitar collection that happened to have a Washburn Stealth inspired custom build. You know, this random dude had bought it, he didn't make it, he wasn't trying to sell it as a Dean, and his collection also had a few Dean guitars, by the way. So like, what are you doing? Listen, I'm no legal expert, letter of the law, they were probably in the right, but going after a fan of your brand over a picture of a custom guitar from a small and now defunct builder, it's not great PR. And in the middle of all this, we've got Dimebag Daryl's estate suing Dean, claiming they filed unauthorized trademarks for Dimebag Guitars and being incredibly disrespectful of his legacy. Dean, for their part, has said it's Rena Haney's fault, that's Dimebag's long-term girlfriend and estate trustee, for being unrealistic in her demands. So that kind of iconic relationship has been terminated. It's sad, who knows who will be making Dimebag Guitars going forward, but it won't be Dean. And again, from a public opinion standpoint, not great. But all that being said, in spite of everything else going on, it's actually a pretty decent lineup. Is it the most exciting lineup ever? No. Is it a reasonable lineup in now the third year of extreme supply chain conditions? Yeah. Does it have some really cool additions? Absolutely. And I've been very critical of brands like Jackson that have iconic shapes like the Rhodes, the Kelly, and yet instead of updating them for modern metal players, the only guitar they have with the current in vogue specs like Evertune Influence is another Super Strat. Cool. I guess. BC Rich is the only brand I think that's gotten it totally right. Equal emphasis on both the classic, faithful reissues and on ultra-modern variations on the classic shapes. You can do both. And the Mockingbird Extreme is still one of the most memorable guitars I've ever played because it's this incredibly unique shape with the modern specs that I absolutely love. And with this lineup, Okay, yeah, it's limited to only 100 pieces and they probably already sold out, but they've taken the ML shape, something they've made since 1977, given it an ash blasted body, thrown an Evertune and Fishman Fluence in there. Will fans of the traditional ML hate it? Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't matter, honestly, because Dean already makes a ton of those old school MLs. This is for the people like me. It draws new fans to the brand. I love it. Their first Evertune Fluence stainless steel guitar. It's not a generic super strat. It's the ML, they get it. And yeah, there is some trend chasing here, pastel colors, roasted maple necks, you know, Dean Travels. And there are four exiles, your obligatory super strats. But with all of them, there's a big emphasis on fully floating trims. Out of 12 new electric models for the year, nine have Floyd Roses, one has a Kaler. Good on Dean for continuing to make regular production models with Kalers, by the way. I don't know any other brand that gives Kaler this much love, but they've thrown a Floyd on just about everything they could, on a V, on a Thoroughbred, on all the Exiles. Floyd Rose parts are incredibly 
limited. I don't think you guys realize how impressive it is that they pulled this off. So emphasis on floating trams across the entire line instead of just the 80s focused retro models is something that sets Dean apart this year for me. Anyways, I think I had too much coffee this afternoon because this is turning into a bit more of a ramble than it was supposed to be. Basically, decent lineup, love that Dean custom run ML, and really interested to see how the overall Dean situation develops in 2022. But those are just my thoughts and initial reactions. I would love to know what you're thinking down in the comments. What do you think of the 2022 Dean lineup? Are you impressed? Are you excited? And what do you think of the overall Dean situation right now? I've seen this narrative like, oh, Dean's in trouble. Dean's about to go bankrupt. Yeah, they've lost Dimebag Daryl and Dave Mustaine, two of their biggest high profile artists, but they've signed new artists and they've got a very loyal fan base. Like they still sell guitars. But yeah. Anyways, what do you think? Huge shout out to all my patrons whose names are on the screen right now. They make this and all the other content possible. And thanks to all of you who have tuned in to hang out and just chat about guitars. Subscribe if you haven't, notification bell. That way YouTube lets you know when I upload a new video, social media, merch, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome and I'll see you for the next video.